Hello, my name is Chris Bosley. Um, it's the 15th of July, 2022. This is uh, OBS. Uh, I'm, I might by accident say OpenBSD <laughs> by mistake. Uh, no, this is OBS, Open Broadcast Studio. It's a software that records screens, that records your computer screen, and you can record gameplay. You can stream gameplay. Let's say you're a professor and, you're, um, and you have a PowerPoint presentation or you're working on Zoom at work. Uh, you can um, utilize OBS in all them situations for screen capture. And um, it's open source and quite powerful. And the, it's also free, um, but the nice thing about it is open source and it's quite powerful. A lot of people have YouTube videos that where they have tutorials on how to use OBS. And one thing that I noticed is that this infinity display is, is very distracting. So what is happening is that OBS has as its source the display capture, which is capturing the display for your computer monitor. Now, if I turn this off by deselecting the eye, so you know to make it so it's not viewed, it'll the screen will go black, and that's not ideal, and that's not what we want. A lot of people doing these vi um, tutorials, they want to capture the screen for OBS, but this infinity loop is distracting. This infinity loop is very similar to having two mirrors mirroring each other and the, mi the mirrored image goes on for infinity. That's like what's happening here. So we want to see if we can get around this. Okay, let's try. Uh, here in, in the taskbar is the icon here in the taskbar and an icon here in the tray. What we want to do is we want to open another instance of OBS. So we can either do that by right clicking on the icon here in the taskbar or by pressing the button here on the screen or we can press the keyboard windows button. Right clicking on the icon in the tray does not give you an option to do that. So I'm just going to right click on the taskbar here and select open BS. Oh, OBS, Open Broadcast Studio. See, it'll give you a warning. OBS is already running unless you meant to do this. Um, yes, I did mean to do this. It's intentional, so I'm going to launch it anyways. This will start up another instance of OBS. You've got uh, one instance here and one instance there. The first instance, this one, is recording. And the second instance is not recording. So what we're going to do is we're going to minimize this first instance which is recording the desktop. Now we have the first instance recording the second instance of OBS. Now we are able to close this window and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be recording the OBS window clean in, in a clean state rather than having this messy infinity loop going on. It's now a clean state much cleaner to work like that than to um, to work like this uh, than to try to confuse the person watching your tutorial by having this infinity display. So let's just get rid of that for now and let's add for an example text okay and you'll see that it's much cleaner to do it this way and much easier for your viewer to understand what you're doing and to understand what they need to expect within their own experience following your tutorial. Compare that with this. Much different. Much, It's much easier to follow along with your tutorial um, by just, you know, interacting with your tutorial in this way rather than having to f having to um, fight like a 
uh, a messy interface, which is going to happen if you have that infinity going, infinity loop going on. So <clears throat> now the video is over. You've you've taught your user or you've taught your YouTube uh, visitor how to do something in you in um, in your OBS. So now what? Okay. Uh, we're finished. We're going to stop the video so we can right click on the icon in the in the tray and press stop or we can go in here and select that and then press stop there. But that's kind of messy because we bring up this messy interface again. Uh, another way to do it is to go up here into settings and hotkeys and you can set a hotkey to start recording and stop recording. You can set a hotkey for any of these other functions within OBS. I selected Control R for start recording and Control S for stop recording. I could have used Alt, the Alt key. However, using the Alt key would interfere with the menu uh, quick keys, the menu shortcuts. Pressing Alt and F will open your file. Uh, pressing Alt and E will open your edit. Now, if I pressed Alt S for to stop recording, it would op it would would stop the recording, but also scene collection would also open up. So I just keep the Alt keys, unless there's like a key here, but then open up this, and you know there might be another shortcut somewhere else, or Alt might be used for another shortcut somewhere else that I don't know about. So I just kept it simple. I rem I did not use Alt key for the shortcut. I left that open for the menu shortcuts here. And instead, I chose Control S to stop uh, the recording. Uh, and that's what I'm going to use to stop the recording. Again, you could use this here, stop recording, or you could use the messy interface by going like this. So that's the end of the tutorial. I hope it was helpful. I hope um, um, you learned something, and I hope it's useful for you. And uh, that's it for me. Uh, take care, uh, be kind to yourself, and uh, keep learning. Thank you.